Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So, if you're anything like me, you grew up playing the Command & Conquer series of games, and I've been digging around on various sites and found that there is a whole scene based on, well, modding the, the original game. So, there's stuff for Red Alert, stuff for Command & Conquer, stuff for Tiberian Sun, and even Generals. But anyway, I found this one, which is a total conversion for Tiberian Sun. And the good thing about this is, well, it's really simple to install, and I'll show you exactly how it's done. But anyway, it's a total conversion based on the Vietnam War, and you can grab it here from ModDB. Well, actually, you don't grab it from ModDB. Let me let me take you through the process. Anyway, here is the page on ModDB, so here's where you get your links for it. And you can see there's a load of info, a load of videos, so you can check it out yourself, and it, it, look, it does look very, very nice. And it seems to be quite popular with the people who have played it, so I've not seen many tens on this site. But anyway, what do you need to do if you want to play and install it? Or install and play rather um, well let me show you so anyway here we are in mod DB and as always don't, don't worry I'll be providing you with the links in the uh, comment section down below but anyway come here to the file section this is quite strange because what it is these links just basically are for PDFs so um, for example this one here just click on that and download it and you see there's a PDF and what you end up is with this which is basically Nice bit of info on how to play. Controls. That's quite professional, actually. This, uh, this who's this done by? I think this guy's called Tiger Tan. Uh, well done, Tiger. Good work, fella. But anyway, here's the link for the actual game itself. So you click on that. And then it takes you to like this kind of Dropbox thing. So you just hit here. Hit on download. Downloads the whole thing. And eventually you'll end up with a zipped file. So let's get rid of that. Don't really need this anymore. Okay, and this is what you end up with, as you can see. Vietnam Combat Operations Tour of Duty in a zipped file. Okay, and don't worry, I'm, I'm using WinRAR, because a lot of people ask me what is WinRAR for some reason. It's just, just another tool, WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR. They all do the same thing, compress and decompress files. There you go. As always, though, I'm using WinRAR. It's my favorite. I don't know why. I just like it. Anyway, so unzip it into its own folder like I've done here already. And we'll just open this up a bit. And these are all the files that you get in the game. And to launch it, all you really need to do is the following. Now, if you want to run it in full screen, do this. Look up the tsconfig.exe file. Click on that. Okay. Leave the game resolution as it is. Okay. But just click this to full screen. When you download the game, it will be set to windowed. But do full screen. Click on OK. Scroll up. And you can launch it via the bat file, which I can't see, or the game exe. It doesn't really matter. And this is actually given to you in that PDF. So just click on the game exe file. You can do a shortcut for that as well. Right, to launch the game, just hit deploy. Strangely enough, it doesn't light up. You just have to wait for the sound. There you go. Okay, and now you can choose which side you want to be. You can be the Marine Corps, or you can be North Vietnam. Okay, change your maps here. Um, what else can I tell you? Game speed. It defaults to six, but um, that's that's too fast. And if you go to zero, it's way too slow. So I like to use four. It's a good sort of level. You can change your credits, um, change a few other bits here, bits and pieces. But I'll let you experiment with that. Just hit OK, and we'll go straight into the game. This is the beauty of it, just being a standalone game. You don't need the base game at all. You can just get in and enjoy. Right, so here I am. I'm the US Forces now. If I want to actually uh, build a base, I think it's this one. What do I do? What is this vehicle here? Is it these guys? I don't Divisional Command Post. Click on that. And you can start building things. So, all pretty straightforward. All very nicely done. Uh, Marine Corps Barracks. That's how you get your troops. Click on that. Okay, so I can start building Marines. Uh, aid station, I think that gives me medics. Brilliant stuff. Uh, what else do I need? I need a supply depot, I believe. Just to remember how to play this. Is it this? Right, yeah. Supply depots. So this is how you harvest... Um, well, actually, it's what the game's based on. You harvest rice, so you're stealing the Vietnamese's rice. Um, and this is basically how you make your money. So the truck goes off and starts basically... M well, mining's not the right word, is it? Uh, harvesting. Harvesting rice. Well, they're like harvesters in the old 
old CNC games. Anyway, so off they go. They find a rice field and they start bringing it back and you start getting more cash that way. Um, what else can we do? You've got the usual things, uh, motor pool. Well, what does that give me? Well, vehicles and tanks, I believe. There we go. So we start getting some armoured units in, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think Commo Shack starts opening the possibilities for aircraft, so you've got Hueys and whatnot as well. So just have fun, experiment with that, and um, enjoy. But anyway, guys, as you can see, that's very, very simple and straightforward to uh, install and play and enjoy. But anyway, that's it for this time. Stick around for another video. Let me know what you thought about it. I, I, I really enjoyed playing Command & Conquer back in the day, so this is just a treat playing these really, really interesting mods. But anyway, that's enough for this time. I'll see you in the next video. So until then, my friends, this is Hipkel signing off.